Yuito, I sent you the location data for the distress signal. Confirm? Room. What's it like there? The extinction belt advanced while the city was being constructed. A lot of others came down and it became a dangerous area. There are no plans to restart construction. It's a forgotten ghost town. Come on! We did it. Looks like the enemy dropped something rare. Alright!
Regroup now. Pretty rare. Looks like there's a resource nearby. new guy right on time as you can see I'm in the middle of something do you think you could help me out of course at your service you don't need to be so formal age and rank don't mean much here oh okay 
I would like to help as well. Good answer. Gemma, connect Yuito to the SAS. Affirmative. Arashi, can you use your hypervelocity to get behind the target? Do I get hazard pay? That's something you should take up with Major General Fabuki. <sighs> Fine, I'll help. You two handle the front while I take the back. <sighs> It's the crows! I'm gonna give it my all! That's it! What's with that drone? It totally gave us away to the others! It happens. The crows have a right to use their drones to broadcast. But I know how you feel. All right. You guys promise to back up my story later, okay? What? For real? Oh, she. You're going to be reprimanded. So get your story straight and back me up. Yuito. Your power is psychokinesis, right? Use their remnants as you see fit. You can drop any crows that show up after, too. Okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. I should charge you. <laughs> So formal. Let's go with Gamma. You look so old, Gamma. That's probably why he's acting like that. Well, I am older, but even so, don't worry about it. Too much work. I don't feel like doing anything now. What are we gonna do about destroying the crow's drones? Intentionally interfering with their reporting is against military regulation. We accidentally mistook it for an other and destroyed it. It happens. Got it? Yes, it was an unfortunate accident. Though I'm not sure how I feel about this. Hey, don't worry about it. You showed promise. All right, we'll leave it at that. We did what we had to. Now let's get back to Suo. Yes. Hey, Gamma. What? Your leg. You look like you're limping. Did you get hurt? Oh, you're right. This isn't good. Running into more others now would be bad news. I'm fine. If you're limping, you must be in pain. We should at least do some first aid. No, it's dangerous out here. We need to move. I know a place. 
My family has a unit around here we use as an emergency shelter. When we travel to Ceyron, we should be able to treat you safely there. That's great. Show us the way. Copy that. I'll send you the coordinates now. Okay, you're right. That is close. Gemma, you just have to tough it out until we get there. I'm fine. Stop it. I know you, and you're always pushing yourself too hard. So this is the Sumeragi Family Evacuation Unit. It's a lot fancier than your standard unit. You think so? I know, we should tell Seto about this place and make it a safe house for Seto Platoon. It's like a little hideout. It feels perfect. What's a safe house? It's like an evacuation site each team has that's separate from headquarters. OSF refers to them as hideouts. They come in handy when we're faced with casualties like today. Oh, that's right. Gemma, let me see your leg. You're not fine at all. Look at all the blood. Stop trying to tough everything out. I wasn't doing it intentionally. I just couldn't feel the pain because of all the adrenaline. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Yuito, you looked comfortable with medical treatments. I'm impressed. I had health problems as a kid, so I have a lot of experience taking care of my own injuries. I see. I'm sure your parents were pretty busy. Yeah. You know who my father is, and my mother was killed by another when I was five. We had a maid at home, but I just got used to doing everything on my own. It's good to be independent. Though not sure that's very convincing coming from me. Yeah, you could learn to do a few more things on your own, so Major General Fubuki won't have to worry so much. Major General Fubuki? What does he have to do with Arashi? I thought it was common knowledge. Fubuki and I are siblings. What? You're the Major General's younger sister? The other way around. You can't judge anyone in the OSF by our appearance. I'm Fubuki's older sister. Or she has the potential to rival even the Septentrions if she stops slacking off. How rude, Gemma. I just hate wasting my energy. What do you say we rest here? Even if we go back to Suo, all that's waiting for us there is paperwork and nosy crow news interviews. Hello, everyone. Hmm. Aren't you the daughter of the Ichijo OSF hospital chairman? Captain Arashi Spring? Call me Arashi, please. Every year, you newbies have the same reaction. I'm sorry. Um, nice to meet you. I'm Hanabi Ichijo. The hospital is run by my uncle, who's the head of the family, so we aren't directly involved. I see. Well, I suppose it's best if both of us avoid connections to hospitals and pharmaceuticals. Hanabi, did you bring it? Yes, I brought medication and emergency rations. Were the supplies here in this unit that old? A lot of them were past their expiration date. I mean, my dad hasn't been to Ceyron in a long time, so I guess it's understandable. Oh, don't worry, Gemma. The medication and bandages I used on you weren't expired. <laughs> Thanks again for your help. You two seem close. Did you know each other before joining the OSF? We're childhood friends. Not surprising the Ichijo and Sumeragi families would be acquainted. Well, you've come all this way. Why don't you stay and make yourself comfortable? Y yes Sounds like Arashi calls the shots. She looks so different from the way they present her on TV. She's always lazy when she's not on camera, so a lot of people call her Lazy Aura. Lazy Aura? <laughs> that suits her perfectly.
A message from Kasane? I should check it right away. A call from Kasane? Maybe I can ask her a little bit about the person who saved me. Sorry to keep you waiting. So, what is it? I'm glad you get straight to the point. I was getting tired of people who force small talk. <laughs> Thanks. I figured... Is there anyone you like? What? Why is she asking me that? Does she? What's your type? What are your plans for your future? Are you interested in taking over Randall Industries? Wait, hold on! Why are you asking me that? I'm running a background check. Is that why you called me here? Not just that. Captain Seto seems to have dropped his fountain pen around here somewhere. I wanted to talk to you anyway, so I thought I'd ask you what you knew about it. His fountain pen? Now that you mention it, I guess Captain Seto did have a nice one. How come you're looking for it? So even you like to ask too many questions. What? That's a perfectly normal question to ask. Don't look at me like that. We can talk while we look for the pen.
something like oil. Don't get on you. Okay, use it. I can do this. something rare. would be happy if we found the fountain pen. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do our best then. <laughs> Conversation is non-existent, but I have to ask her about the person who saved me.
guess you're not as useless in battle as I thought. Oh man, she's really harsh. Hey, I have something I want to ask you too. Is that all right? What? When I was little, I was attacked by another and almost died. But then someone from the OSF saved me, and she looked just like you. So, I was wondering if you knew anything about it. We're about the same age. When you were a child, I would have been one too. No, I mean, maybe you have a much older sister. Shh, quiet. <laughs> An enemy. Get ready to fight. Okay. Thanks, Kasane! With everything! Looks like we won. Huh? Isn't that Captain Seto's fountain pen behind you? This is it? Thanks. You were a big help. Anyway, back to what you were saying. About the OSF person who saved me? Did you check the OSF registry? Of course, but I didn't find her. I thought maybe she was discharged. Oh, right. The person who saved me had the exact same hair clip as that one. Can you tell me where you bought yours? That's not possible. My sister made this for me. What? Really? Hmm. Your power is psychokinesis too. Do you think you might be having realistic dreams? Dreams? Hmm. I can't really say for sure. I was a kid at the time, and my memory is a bit hazy. I've always had strange dreams. Oddly realistic dreams. A woman mutters something about red strings, and then red threads encircle me like a cocoon. I thought my dreams were real when I was a child. It was confusing. I thought that since you also have psychokinesis, maybe you had realistic dreams too. No. I'm sure it wasn't a dream. It has to be real. That person gave me this ear cuff. I see. Then I don't think I can help you any further. Oh, no, I... Uh, I'm sorry. That was a weird thing to bring up. It's fine. Well, we found the fountain pen, so I guess I'll head back. Right. Thank you. That was a good background check. Oh, right. I completely forgot that was a thing. Uh... Why me? All right. Goodbye. I'll head back, too.
Luigi took down another major other. Oh man, I wish I could have fought with you. It wasn't broadcast this time. Weren't the crows there? No, a lot was going on. Yuito, wanna talk? I mean, we're on the same team now. Okay, but what do you want to talk about? We've known each other since we were kids. You pretty much know everything about me. Uh, you know, we didn't see much of each other since joining up. I thought we could catch up. Catch up? I guess we haven't had the time to really sit down and talk. Right? Why don't we go take a walk out of the city? Okay, let's go. been on a relaxing walk like this in a while. Me neither. I've been on missions constantly since being assigned. We need to take time for ourselves like this now and then. So, what were you doing between the time you were scouted and the time you joined? Well, during my time at the academy, I studied, trained my power, and hung out with friends. <laughs> Me too. I guess there's not too much difference between the scouted and volunteer soldiers. Yeah. We were both headed to the same place in the end. What about everything else? How are your parents? They're both doing great. Just the other day, they kept messaging me while they were on a date for their wedding anniversary. <laughs> They're so carefree. I'm glad to hear they haven't changed. I found myself ignoring their calls for a while. It feels nice to talk like this again. It's only been two years. But it feels like we haven't seen each other for much longer. Yeah, it really does. Are you okay? It's nothing. Anyway, can I ask you something? Sure. What's up? So, um, what do you think about Kasane? <laughs> huh? Why are you suddenly bringing up Kasane? Well, you know, we're catching up. I wanted to ask you something that must be on your mind. And it seemed like you've been thinking about Kasane. A lot. It did? Well, I guess I've been curious about her. What do you mean by that? I don't know how to put it. I can't get Kasane's face out of my mind. You can't? No. Her face looks exactly like the person who saved me when I was a kid. I'll never forget that face. So when I met someone who had the same face, I started to wonder if they were somehow related. Oh, so it's just because she looks like the person who saved your life? Yeah, that's right. The reason why I even volunteered for the OSF is because I wanted to be like the person who saved my life. She's the ideal image of what the OSF should be. Wasn't exactly the direction I was going for, but I guess that's fine. Then what did you want to know? I'll try to answer. It's okay. It's not a big deal. You know, you're really amazing. You've had this goal since you were a child, and you've been working towards it all your life. <laughs> no, I'm not amazing at all. You're way more amazing, because you were actually scouted. That's not true. Being scouted meant that I had no choice but to enlist. You didn't want to join the OSF? It's not that, but I never thought about what I wanted to do in the OSF. That's so like you. You're more comfortable taking action than you are thinking. Hey, that seems like a roundabout way of calling me stupid. What? 
No, I, I didn't mean it like that at all. You just put more stock into being proactive. Wait, uh, that's not much better. <laughs> I'm just joking. I know what you mean. Ready to head back to the hideout? Yeah. Thanks for inviting me out. I'm really glad we got to talk like this again. I had fun too. Um, do you want to talk again like this sometime? <laughs> that sounds good. Let's do it. Okay, it's a promise. Don't forget. I won't. You better not forget either. I definitely won't. Well, let's head back to the hideout. She hasn't changed. She's so cheerful and energetic. I feel recharged. You haven't changed at all. Really? Really. I mean, you're still into Baki. But I'm a bit happy that you haven't changed. Just staying being you. I want to get to know you better, you know? Oh, like fighting habits? I guess that would be important if we're fighting together. 